good Peach versus Falco in the world, which yeah. still makes him pretty good. It's just hilarious that this is a problem matchup for him historically. Yeah, I mean, this is one of those matchups where, so it's like, you know, I've said this before to Gabe, uh, you know, it's it's an old phrase, so it's, it's gendered, but, uh, you know, a man hears what he wants to hear and disregards the rest, you know? And yeah. it's like, I feel like sometimes the answer in a matchup is to, like, wait longer in certain scenarios because, yeah. like, you don't, you can't uh, just like true punish a certain option. Like, off. Oh, oh he tried, to, he he expected him to go to ledge and he went to like jump down there and float there and then nair it. And, yeah. Uh, yeah, so you're saying that like a lot of the times Nico just has to accept, but he can't do something about Falco doing something, but he tries to find another way. Yeah. It, 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 I mean, it literally looks like someone just like running it you know at like like trying to like shove a wall you know like <laughs> but really you need to walk around you it, need to you understand know? that the wall isn't real and then do some matrix shit to avoid yeah like i don't know you know i'm, not, I'm just fucking with your analogies because this is like i feel like this is that's the thing that everyone nice. eventually realizes versus puff where it's like, you just you can't, can't punish them. You can't punish And you shouldn't try. Yeah. Wait for them to do something you can't punish. Like, the amount of times Puff is going to do a retreating aerial and you're going to throw out your projectile or whatever, you know, character you play is going to be a lot because that's not the type of option. You can just hard read. Nico's punish game is really good, though. Yeah, he's been punishing really hard. I mean, that's the thing. I was giving him shit, but he's still very good against Falco. He's still the higher seed. He's still the smartest player we know. No, I, I, oh my God. Oh my God. Um, I do actually think that like, the reason why Nico isn't like as good against Falco as he could be maybe is the reasons I listed, but he's actually really good in this matchup because I feel like he did learn like how to mess with Falco and he, oh my God. He, yeah, he realized that if you're close to Falco, stay on the ground because that's how you punish laser. And if you're far, go to the air because that's how you, you make. You don't get laser. Yeah. Yes, and I feel like he's see, see. Yeah. He's he's actually playing that way, and it's I actually do think that like a lot. the thing I described I think is old Nico. I don't I don't think that he has that issue anymore. Yeah, and I still I just think the one kind of problem thing he has is um just throw it. Yeah. yeah I, I, when you're low percent like that, you don't want to. You don't want to fuck with, with that. Yeah, you just want to get rid of it. My spade. Ooh, okay, that was nice, but good. good job setting up your initial DI in such a way that, like, if he does get that second air, you go back on stage. Yeah, yeah. I kind of feel like Falco, like, things that seem scrubby Whoa, are good against him. that was him. such a good, cute little mix-up. It was probably... It, it, it might have been an accident, but I, it looked really funny. I feel like he tried to do, like, a really fast turnaround nair or something. I just oh! feel like the percent chance that he misses his tech if he gets hit by that is, like, insane. It's, like, so high. Yeah. But, yeah, it could have been a dash attack. Ooh. Beautiful. Dude, I love, like, the double tomahawk. You know? Mm -hmm. Like, you tomahawk, and they're like, oh, no, he's going to grab me. And then you don't grab, and you just down smash, and then they just eat the whole thing. That shit's awesome. Dude, something I've been on is his Marth, like, empty jump, dash back. Because you empty jump, and they're like, he's going to empty jump, grab. They spot dodge, and then you dash down, grab it. Okay, Yoshi's. Traditional pick. Trying to get that early kills. Early kills, early kills. Plus, and also, uh, if you have, like, like... What? If they have a tool like float, you know what I mean? You don't necessarily get the same advantage from the full horizontal plane that you do against other characters. Like, if they already have such a good tool for avoiding lasers when very far away, like you were saying, then, like, FD isn't going to help you as much in terms of, like, you can just laser them. You know what I mean? Yeah, Peach, because she kind of can create an aerial platform for herself. Yeah. That, yeah, that's definitely that's definitely true. And I mean, the chain grab. Well, I wasn't thinking FD specifically, but also, like, why you would pick Yoshi's and not Pokemon is it's like, well, lasering from far away isn't as good versus her as other characters. Yeah. Yeah. That's definitely true. She can just, like, go into the air without, like, worry. 
Meanwhile, like, most other characters Ooh. don't want to just slow jump. Wow. Yeah. That up tilt is so, like, it's so deceptive because you see Peach up there and you're like, wow, great read. Nair? Wow. Um, Okay. You're, you're like, oh, she's above me, so I will up tilt because that's like the natural thing to do, right? Uh -huh. But then it's like, but then she doesn't she, have to fall onto you. Yeah, she doesn't have to keep falling, and like no other characters like that. It's really yeah. weird. But that's why against Peach, like, what's often good is like doing short hop aerials. Yeah. Because then even if she doesn't fall into you, they're lagless. Yeah, and like if they're at the height where they're just above your up tilt and they're waiting for you to do it so they can bury you on the way down, if you short hop up air instead, you are exactly at the height to clip them for it. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Lewis is putting nice. on the pressure though. You gotta like crouch cancel that super hate that uh that combo. Mm -hmm. Great SDI on the down air. Nico just isn't giving Lewis, yeah, he's not giving Lewis any, like... Any opening. Any... Mm -hmm. No, anything he hits, just, like, he gets his shield, and he just Holds gets, like, down. SDI, shield the eye out, and then, like, grabs him, or nares out. Old heads will know that, uh, if Nico listens to this, he'll know what I mean when I say that um, SDI is not cheating as much as people might think it is. This, this was a fucking, this was a meme. Nico, one of his like first really good wins was this guy's strict nine. You know, oh, yeah, yeah. And um, people were like tight because they were like, "You're bad. All you do is SDI out of down air, and then you down smash, down air shine." Nico was like, "If you know I'm doing that, why don't you down air grab fucking scrubs?" <laughs> it's true. All right. Yo, uh. I don't know if you guys heard, but uh, apparently student loan payment pause got extended again. Yep. Dude, I guess if you can't cancel them, you sh you never start them back up. Yep. And that's the same thing as full forgiveness eventually. Eventually, yep. Yeah, it's really funny. I Maybe the Democrats are finally learning what their base actually is. <laughs> Fucking young people. Ryo Goat, hell yeah. He is my goat. He might actually be my goat. I call a lot of people my goat. He's the melee goat. Yeah. He is the greatest melee player of all time. <laughs> nice. Oh. I'll say it. Yeah, dude, Nico just invalidates all his stuff. Like, he just shield DI's away, SDI's away, hold shield, jumps out at the right time. Oh, okay. man. If, uh, nice drop down. If Nico's listening to the loneliest time, his opponent's going to be having the worst time. <laughs> Star? What do you think that's about? That's a know. new one. Peko. I don't know. Peko? Yeah, maybe Peko. It it's could like, be. It's, it's like a different, it's just like Hero. It's like I'm the star. I mean, that is why Pekko. Is there a soccer mommy song with word star in it? I don't know. <laughs> Pekko's not name. That I can think of. I'm pretty like, sure Pekko's the... name means star. His name is Hoshino, oh, really? right? Yeah. That's okay, why his well. thing is he's okay, the star, but does he's Nico the hero. Know that? Nico might know that. I only have Josh told him. I was going to literally say that, dude. I was actually oh, going to say okay, that. That's huge. All right. Or, no, Ale cool. Alex literally knows Jap like that's some. Cool. Yeah, Alex. No, yeah, he's fluent. I, I think Alex could. could he's definitely well, not like, fluent. I mean, you but do. He's something. Yeah. I'm lying on commentary. I've been doing it all day. Yeah. Freaking Starfire? Liar. We doing no. Teen Titans? No. Maybe? That's just, like, that is something you would do. Nice. nice. All right. Okay. Unnecessary. Unnecessary damage. It kind of yeah. looked like Lewis would have, so I it, understand It was, what like, he scary, but also it, it's not like that did anything to stop it. Milo. I guess if he was a little higher, the dare would have hit. Up air, death, no. Milo says uh, they think it's a reference to Pearl or X. Uh, is that an artist? Isn't that? That's a, it's a movie. It's a horror movie. Oh, oh, interesting. I thought that was a Pokemon game. There is Pokemon Pearl, yeah. And Pokemon X, isn't there? Well, no. yeah. There you yeah. go. 
X was the last one I played before Sword and Shield. I yeah. didn't play Sun and Moon. Didn't play, what was it, Ultraviolet, something like that? I don't fucking know. I don't know. I, didn't I play want to play Pokemon either. Ultraviolet. Oh. They kill each other. <laughs> it's the PETA version. <laughs> it's the fucking uh, Clockwork Orange of Pokemon. Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. There you go. So there's Sun, Moon, Ultra Sun, Ultra Moon. And then Sword and Shield. And then Sword and Shield. And then Arceus. And then, uh, what are we on now? Uh, Violet Ooh, nice and pressure. Scarlet. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I like the, like, just retreating aerial. Because then it's like, at worst, you don't get hit. <laughs> you know? So that, that that's good. I remember Joey used to say, like, I mean, I don't know if I agree with this, but I've definitely heard Falco say, like, Falco should just do late aerial shine, retreating aerial, or shine grab, and that's it. Never do anything else. Against Fox, you can double shine. But besides that, like, <laughs> literally, like, you can't just, like, keep going. Dude, I feel like, like, Peach and Pikachu both have this thing on FD. Oh, he might be dead. Oh, he didn't have a double jump after that? I don't really know how he lost a double jump, if I'm being honest. He might have double jump floated to get the perfect height, like, almost on accident. Like, sometimes you just do that because you know the height you want, yeah. but not, like, consciously thinking about it. Or you just think you know for a fact he'll kill. Dude, that's so rough. I feel like, like, I don't know. Like, obviously, Peach has the chain grab on this stage, and... Like the stuff we were that's talking about before about lasers. It's but the same as, but that's the thing. That only makes it less bad for her than other characters. It's still really bad. Yeah. But like, no, you're. This is kind of like, this happens to like Axe a lot. I feel like it's like you pick FD because you have the chain grab, but just like, if you don't get the grab, it's probably your worst stage. Yeah, I mean, it's just FD. You know, like we were talking before about how like. People say, like, oh, FD is weird because... Jesus. Okay. If you didn't see that coming, you have not watched it, Amigo. Like, FD is so wide. And sometimes, like, you just want to fight, but the stage is so wide yeah. that it's, like, hard to even, like, get close enough to even create an interaction. And yeah, why... that's how he was winning all those other games. Okay, here we go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I mean, Nico was doing really well in the scrap, and Lewis is a player who is good at scrapping, but I don't think he, like, depends on it, you know? I don't think it's, like, necessary for him to win. Great ledge dash. Yeah, you don't see those too often. Not, not, not really. Though. And it's like, he, he can get, like, 15 frames. <laughs> oh, yeah, it's pretty much almost just as good as Vox is. It's like a frame or two less. Yeah. It's, it's nice. He just has so many other good options that they never bother to learn. Yeah, yeah, I laser side B. Okay. Nico's doing a good job pressuring him Keeps now. He's trying to read that roll. It's not coming. Mm. The pacing is good now, though, for Nico. I yeah. feel like Lewis is like... He's like got control back. Mm -hmm. Oh, nice. Oh, but that's big the... damage. The thing is, Lewis was forcing him to trade, and now it's like, how are you going to trade being this down? Yeah. Yeah. I love that shield pressure. Laser, jab, shine, super safe, good at high percents. So if Nico loses this, does he go back to FD, or is he just like, fuck this? I mean, I think he should go back to FD, but I think it's... I mean, he just F, he just SD'd, and like... That's true. I feel like FD is so big, you SD, you get impatient, you want to like fight. Like, it feels like sometimes in melee, like, you know, sometimes it feels like you're hitting the gas and then sometimes it feels like your tank is just empty, you know? And it's like, yeah, I think FD's fine. I think he just SD'd and it just, he didn't have- Yeah, like, and then Falco just had like control and momentum and he just like uses it to take more and more. Nice. Yeah, and right. There you go. Like, sometimes you just feel like you get, like, the air punched out of you and you just don't have the energy to go on. Because it's like, man, like, you know. And it's like, I feel like you only have so much energy in the whole set. Like, once you're down, you don't really want to start, like, using up all your energy to make a comeback when it's right, like... Right, right. When it's like, maybe it's just best... Like, Nico... Get a fresh... Ooh, nice read. That is nice. I mean, Nico is still favored here, you know? Absolutely. Like, he's the higher-seeded player. He's on his counter pick. 
Lewis is playing extremely well, but like... That's the thing, it just kind of feels nice. like it was Lewis's counter pick, but also like neither of them knew that, you know what I mean? Like it's not like Lewis was like, I'm gonna go to FD. Okay, the, but the here thing is, go. I this do is think what... Lewis is better on wide stages than tri platform stages. When I played Lewis, yeah. I had an extremely close game one on FOD, like last hit, and then I got two stock oh. on Pokemon. And I really did think, like, next time I play this guy, I'm not taking him to yeah, a wide yeah, stage. Yeah. I think he's very good at, like, horizontal. See, look at this. It's really hard to get a read on, like, when he's going to laser and stuff. I mean, Nico's doing a great job at it, but, like, I don't know. If Nico didn't have the chain grab, then it's possible that this would not be a good counter pick, you know? If Dude, he had platforms, he'd be fucked. I mean, yeah, that's like. Well, that's think what I was it. almost thinking. Like, what if Lewis had picked Pokemon instead I th of Yoshi's? I think it could have been a good pick. Nice. Yeah, Lewis has been rolling back a lot. I mean, he this was is really banking on that having enough pushback to not be grabbable. Yeah. And I think Nico like got shield the eye to make it happen. I mean, this is like, this is it, you know? Like, Falco's neutral on FD is really good, and Lewis is using it really well. But like, ultimately, you're gonna have to win neutral so much to play yeah. around the chain grab. It's one of the things about Falco versus Fox that like, Falco doesn't have blow up potential like, Fal like Fox and Falcon do. Mm. So like, it just, uh, being down represents a lot harder of a comeback than it might when you have like, a shine spike or, you know, just a stupid fucking combo where you get two nares and then it combos into up smash. Yeah. I mean, that's the thing about like, Falco Marth even like, that's why I think a lot of Marth mains have an easier time with Falco, even though yeah. traditionally everyone goes like, yeah, Falco's lasers are, of course, way more useful versus Marth because he's so fast, but like, you just can't really get Marth that well as Falco. Yeah, see, you can't fucking take that. You don't know that shit's coming. Yeah. I don't even know if Nico knows that shit's coming. Yeah, I'm not sure which ones are mistakes and which ones aren't. That's yeah. it, though. Okay, right. this is tight again, all yeah. of a sudden. And like one stock, you can just neutral out. Put some damage on piece by piece. It's not like that, though. Mm -hmm. is that a, I've seen I mean, air. that's an edge guard, oh, right? Down oh. I think you down smash after that dash attack, right? 